All right, welcome to round two. I've been kind of talking to the Slivers guy from the first round. Seems like a nice guy. We are on the play. And... Hmm. So this is a tough one. I typically don't like four land hands. <clears throat> but I have a threat. <laughs> no fetches, which means I'm just gonna draw into more lands. We're gonna we're gonna mulligan this. That's even worse. Well, unfortunately, this is the way it works sometimes. So, normally the deck mulligans pretty decently. Maybe I should have just kept the first one. Ooh, a foil steam vents. I'm gonna throw down a Delver. So I'm assuming this is Grixis Twin at this point. Makes his whole deck foiled out, I think. So I'm expecting the pester might. Or Exarch, okay. So, we're just kind of fighting through it at the moment.
Hmm. So we can counter a one or a two drop. At least we're getting the right kind of spells to fight this sort of game. We need a creature next, though. Or land. I'm sorry to be quiet, this is just kind of like a presumed loss, but fighting it anyway. It's got to be fairly irritating for this <laughs> this guy. So the mana leak on itself is not that powerful. So now he has to pay three just to let the snapcaster resolve. We've burnt him down out of cards. He's going to kill my Mandrill, but I'm going to have a Goyf. Now we're not going to have a goif unless we draw into a land. And is that it? Are they all in the... Overgrown? No, I should have... Yep. 
Oh, that's a bummer. Did not realize that. So basically I'm trying to fetch for green and I do not have access to green. Should have held that back as secret information then. He is now... And yeah, there it goes. Mm. He knows what's up. Need a Tassica. And none of these creatures are creatures that we want to vapor snag. At least we can hit the pester mite if he goes for the combo. So we were on the play, but we had to mulligan down to four. Again, I typically am under the impression that they are going to go control post-board. And so we're going to bring in, not that they don't have any creatures. Uh, Echoing Truth is really good against... Blood Moon. Snapcaster is good in the longer games. Deprive, maybe even go for the throat. Disrupting Shoal, I only like to keep two in. See, I don't want to be bouncing a lot of their creatures. I'm just trying to think through how I want to attack their combo. And we have Simic Charms, which are good. Vapor Snag can work. They do run Tassiger, so Vapor Snag is good there. <laughs> I think we're going to go with two Delver and we're gonna pull one actually Vapor Snag out of here one Probe one Mana Leak I think we're actually gonna go down to one Shoal
this is not great, but we'll keep it. Um, Echo and Truth is good. We really want Lily, but we gotta see if we get another land to cast for black, because this should say save, be saved for blue. Do that while that's on the stack. Perfect. So now we have our black source, so we can be more confident with going the lily route. nothing to it. <clears throat> so the assumption here is he's going to take Lily, but probably he's just reading on Disrupting Shoal. So this guy's going to go get us a forest. Playing around Blood Moon now. We're getting some serious... Uh, I don't know if we're getting some lag or what's going on. So definitely wasn't expecting the thoughts. He's actually would not have thought scoured because I could have disrupting shoaled that to keep Lily on board. So he's either playing with us or a little mana tight. So So it looks like he's a little mana tight. Because he's a little tight, I'm gonna make a move here. The Snapcaster.
So now that opens us up. Let's go. Land, land. Creature. Instant. Sometimes it's so small on this monitor. Um, and then we're going to go Overgrown Tomb. And we're going to bring that up right here. And this way I can Disrupting Shoal for one. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to echoing truth it back to my hand, and I think I do. So we still can cast an X turn for. So we must have a Tassiger. Um, so we're going to put that and that. Order. So we want Vapor Snag on top. He's going to have trouble casting, casting Tassiger again for a little bit. And if he gets aggressive... So if he goes to crack this polluted delta, that's when we vapor snag.
Okay. So this may have worked out in her favor. No, so he does have the ability to get his Tassiger back down. But we have lethal on board if we can get the uh, Mandrill through. And I think what he's thinking about now, if he wants to cryptic command my creature, or wait till my next turn. So we're gonna lead in with Lily, or uh, with the combat, anticipating the cryptic command, followed up with Liliana. So I would expect Hasker pretty quick, but if he's holding off, it's because he has another cryptic. Now here he goes. He still has another cryptic potentially. So the tough thing here is Disrupting Shoal <laughs> actually allows me to counter three and more CMC in the future here. I think we have to cut the Flash Freeze. And unfortunately, we're going to have to use the Hooting... No. So what we're going to do is go Hooting Mandrills. And now if he attacks, we have the counter spells up to get him through. If he doesn't attack, we can sacrifice and still have the counter magic up. So now I see him taking out Liliana. He might go for the lethal and the bolt. Ah, it's lethal and the bolt. Mm. 
No. He realizes I can just make him sacrifice it, right? No, because I can't just make him sacrifice it. And because we have played two Blood Moon, we do not have the mana to play this and keep the mana up for a one drop protection. can make him sacrifice the Exarch. Hmm. I think we have to go this route. So we are now in top deck mode, except he can do a bit more with Tassiger there. Oh, good games. And 0 and 2. Alright, so we lost to Grixis Delver. That was a good one. can't win them all. The mulliganing to four game one really hurt. Knew that last game was going to be grindy. I actually made a big mistake bringing in flash freeze. That should not have been in this matchup. Um, post board they pull out in most cases. Not always. Splinter Twin. Er, uh, yeah, Splinter Twin. And so... Flash Freeze really was only good in this matchup against Lightning Bolts or maybe Colgan's Command. Um, either way, a mistake. That card shouldn't have been in there. When I saw it, I should have scried it to the bottom. So, um, for what it's worth, if we had drawn a different card... Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to give it to us at this point. We're too slow... So, anyway, that was Grixis Twin. Um, we'll be back for round three.